Merci. Thanks very much indeed. On the 27th of April 2016, on the invitation of a Finnish MEP, Andre Nekrasov, the filmmaker who is known for his commitment to the uh, uh, Putin system, wanted to show the European Parliament his new film, which is on the Magnitsky case. And this was after the 2012 sanctions levied against Russia. And this was after the, or before the Arte screening of the film. But at the last minute, this film was cancelled, and the screening on Arte was cancelled as well, even though the film had gone through all the checks and controls in advance, and uh, had also been, the campaign for which had also been checked. So why are we seeing this censorship in an area uh, where we're supposed to have this perfect democracy? Andrei Nikrasov followed to the letter the indications given by Mr. Browder, and he also then launched his own investigation. He checked a certain number of documents and uh, asked a number of people who previously hadn't been able to speak what had happened. Apparently there are a number of inconsistencies in what Mr. Browder was saying, and also false evidence. For example, the document from the young employee who was hospitalized uh, a number for a number of weeks after um, being attacked by the police. There was a photo supplied of this person, but actually it's a person in the United States from 1961. So if you think that this is about a calumny, then you can obviously sue Mr. Nekrasov in the courts. But in the meantime, Mr. Nekrasov is continuing to deconstruct your narrative. He did that in London on the 13th of November, and he also does this on his website. Um, colleagues have invited to consult this website, and uh, he's doing this without having been sued by you for defamation. And Mr. Nekrasov is also uh, standing by the conclusions that he drew during the filming for his film. Uh, Mr. Browder, around the world, and I'm quoting you here, you seem to be saying that you're the number one enemy of Mr. Putin. And that might seem to be comical if the situation wasn't so serious. My question is the following. Uh, is it not necessary now to organize a proper contradictory debate between you, Mr. Browder, and Mr. Nekrasov? Um, Mr. Ne you've already been to... Uh, the United States Congress. So, Mr. Browder, would you accept such a, a debate? Thank you. So, uh, thank you for your question. I knew that, that um, there would be one from uh, the FSB um, fed into here, and so uh, glad, glad to um, address the FSB. If your FSB is watching, here's your, your reply. Um, Andrei Nekrasov um, was a, uh, is a scrappy filmmaker who was at one point working for Boris Berezovsky doing anti-Putin films. And um, when Berezovsky died, um, he ran out of money, and he needed a new sponsor. And his sponsor became the FSB of Russia, in my opinion. And um, uh, in that uh, exercise, Andrei Nekrasov made up a, a complete um, propaganda film with FSB talking points throughout the film. And... Um, uh, he has tried on a number of occasions to um, play the film, uh, and uh, we've objected because his film is uh, full of lies and, and misrepresentations, and in some places our objections have been upheld here in the European Parliament. In some cases, they've shown the film. They showed the film in Washington, D.C., and everybody who saw it thought it was completely uh, a load of Russian propaganda. So... Um, uh, I'm not particularly, uh, I don't believe that uh, Andrei Nekrasov is a lawyer. Um, Andrei Nekrasov is a paid propagandist, and uh, um, I don't think that uh, I should lower myself to his level to engage with him in any conversation. Please. I may add, uh, this film uh, 